using science process skills when the scientists are trying to find an answer to a question or a challenge or they are trying to do an experiment they use some thinking tools so some ideas some thinking in the mind so which are called as process skills if someone has given you a sentence in english and if you are asked to write it in telugu so then you use your process skills you will process that so you will do some mind work so such kind of mind work is done by the scientist that is the process skills so these process skills help to investigate a problem in a systematized way in a proper way it will help to find a solution so let us see the different type of process skills that are used in different situations while investigating a problem or here uh, observe compare classify first thing is observation which can be done with the naked eyes we can observe the size we can observe the shape say for example a boy he wanted to uh, study that uh, different kind of uh, shells so he can observe the shells with his naked eye different uh, shapes their shape and color so he can compare between the different types of shells he can compare go for a comparison in their shape in their color appearance and he can classify he can make into groups so the ones which are spiky the ones which are plain are the ones which are big the ones which are small in such a way grouping classification can be done so in that way the study of the shells can be done so while taking up a study or an investigation or an experiment process skills are used so the next one we see measuring measuring is also a process skill measuring is nothing but the comparison but which is uh, based on a standard unit like a liter or meter or gram or centimeter likewise say for example a girl she has collected some three rocks she wanted to investigate how the rocks are affected by the uh, friction so what she does is uh, she has taken the rocks into a bottle or a jar so then she started shaking or uh, she kept the rocks in the water and started shaking so she wanted to observe how, what happens to the size of the rocks after uh, subjected to some simulation the uh, size of the rock decreases or how it decreases in each case so that means she wanted to compare comparison but some cases the comparison cannot be done with naked eye and we do not get the exact value we may think we may see that okay the size of the rock is decreased from the pre previous case but we need to have the recorded observation so for the recorded observation first the weight of the rocks can be measured so weight of this rock 200 grams we can use a weighing machine a standard weighing machine so weight of this rock 150 grams weight of this rock 175 grams so after that some two days or three days after the friction rubbing of rocks together then again the weight of this rock it is 175 that means 25 grams of uh, rock is turned into sand so by that in this investigation there is a specific uh, standard unit and uh, specific values those values are accurate as we take the measurement for comparison so comparison is a process skill so that it can be done with me um, measuring tools which will be very accurate so measurement is also a process skill so other process skills we see that making a model or uh, using a model model if we go to science exhibition we see that uh, so many students will make models so they will try to explain a concept with the help of a model so models they help to study and to present the concept also say in using a model they will prepare a model so this model helps to explain the prediction as well as the inference so prediction and inference can be well explained using a model say for example a boy a boy wanted to study the switch and wires in the wall how the wire switch and bulb are working so his prediction is that if wires bulb and switch are connected then the bulb glows so that is his prediction so 
to present that he has made a model in which wires, bulb and switch are used. So here is a model, here are the wires and here is the bulb and here is the paper clip which is used as a switch. So when the switch is connected then the bulb glows, when the switch is disconnected the bulb stops. So here the inference, the logic of explaining the concept so that is when the clip is connected the electricity is passed to show that here the clip is used this idea is used the logic is used so that is to prove that only when there is a connection then the flow of elect electricity takes place so that is the idea so that is the inference so that is the inference so prediction prediction means it is a guessing guessing of final outcome so if we do like that it will come like that how can you guess our guessing is based on our experience previous experiences we know that if we connected like this circuit if we keep a battery if we keep a wire if we keep a bulb then if you make a circuit it will glow so that experience we have so that is the prediction so to we can prove the prediction is correct or not by making the model yes we made the model the bulb lit so our experimentation our prediction is correct so how we are explaining our prediction with an inference with the logic that see if it is disconnected there is no flow of electricity see if it, this is connected there is flow of electricity so that is the inference so here the prediction prediction and inference both are proved by using a model so here are uh, certain process skills like hypothesis so we are uh, giving a hypothesis so here I am telling that warm milk is curdled by adding curd that means by adding curd to the warm milk it becomes into curd again so plan and conduct the experiment so to prove that I have planned I have taken one small two small cups of same size so in this what I am doing is I, I have taken warm milk warm milk in both the cups so now I am adding the curd sample here to this and not adding the curd sample here so what happens what happens after some time so we may find the warm milk is turned into curd here in A in B it should not be because the curd sample is not added so what happens the hypothesis warm milk is curded by adding curd this is proved but we should see that other, the other variables should not interfere the experiment if this warm milk even though it is not added with curd after adding the curd if these two things are not covered so this cup is not covered but by air some bacteria is carried by air and the bacteria reached this curd so this curd this warm milk also curdled so actually it should not be why because the variables are not controlled so the control of variables is also very important we should see that there is only one variable if other variables are interfering then the experiment will be spoiled so in such a way that control of variables is also one of the process skills for uh, finding an answer and investigating an experiment.